Hi, my name is Donald Newman of the Columbus School of Chinese here in Columbus, Ohio. And my goal today is to answer a question about Mandarin in the most succinct and easily understandable way that I can. And today's question is, what are the tones of Mandarin Chinese? A tonal language is a language in which the pitch of your voice as you say a word, the change of the pitch, how high or low it is, uh, does it change, does it not change, these things can determine what word you're actually saying. So, for example, let's take a word in English to determine if English is or is not a tonal language. So we have the word dog. I can say dog very high. Dog, dog, dog. I can start changing my pitch. Dog, dog, dog. Uh, sometimes it feels a little bit different. It's like the emotion behind the word changes if I change the pitch of my voice. But at the end of the day, this is still the same word. Not so in tonal languages like Mandarin. So we can take a syllable in Mandarin. Let's take M-A, right? Depending on the pitch of our voice and how the pitch of our voice changes, this turns into totally different words. For example, ma, if the pitch of my voice was flat, this means mother, right? Uh, if the pitch of my voice rises, ma, this would mean num. If the pitch of my voice dips and comes back up, ma, ma, this means horse. And if the pitch of my voice falls as I produce this syllable, ma, ma. It means to scold somebody, to scold, to yell at. So as you can see in Mandarin, the way the pitch of our voice changes totally determines the word we are saying. That's what's meant by a tonal language. Now, how many tones are there in Mandarin? We commonly say there are four tones with a fifth unaspirated tone. So let's first talk about the four basic tones. We have them here. Ma is what we call the first tone. Ma, or the first tone in Chinese, starts very high in our register and stays flat. There is no change in pitch. It starts high and stays there all the way across. Ma, ma. The second tone, or what's commonly referred to as the rising tone, starts mid-register and rises up to the high. Uh, ma, ma. The third tone starts relatively low in our register, dips down, and then comes back up again. Ma, ma. If you can kind of Feel your voice bottoming out as you hit the bottom of your register, kind of crackling a little bit. Uh, that's a good way to, uh, to know you're producing a good third tone as you begin, right? Ma, ma. Finally, our fourth tone starts high in our register and falls. Ma, ma, ha, ha. Ma. Ma, 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 ha. Finally, we have our unaspirated tone. It's not necessarily called the fifth tone because it's not really a tone. You don't say these words long enough for there to be a true tone. So it doesn't have a start high and ending high, right? It's too short to have an actual pitch change or not change. Therefore, it's called the unaspirated tone. Another good way to think about the four tones, if you've ever studied music, musical notation before, right? Uh, something higher up here will be a higher pitch than if we had a note down here, right? You can think of your first tone as starting up here and staying up here. You can think of your second tone as starting mid-register and rising. You can think of your third tone as starting relatively low, dipping, 
before coming back up again. And our fourth tone, starting high and going down all the way to the bottom. So there are the four tones of Mandarin Chinese, plus our neutral, unaspirated tone in a nutshell. Hopefully everyone can come away from this with a basic understanding of the tones.